Hi, this is Chuck King. Today's bonus episode of The King's Guide covers the Patsy Clark Mansion. The mansion is also described in a full chapter of John Richard's book, The Life and Times of Patsy Clark. Welcome to uh, Patsy Clark's Mansion. It was designed by Kirkland Cutter, famous Spokane architect. It took two years to construct the home and uh, the family moved in in 1899. That consisted of Patsy and Mary Clark and the six children. The home is over 12,000 square feet. Many of the items were designed by Tiffany. Is this beautiful stained glass window, which has a peacock theme and was considered to be the largest stained glass window in a private residence this side of Mississippi and supposedly the largest one that Tiffany ever made. The Tiffany stained glass windows today are reportedly worth about $500,000. Patsy wanted Cutter to design the most impressive home west of the Mississippi. Well, this room is called the French Room. It's just right off the foyer, the entrance, and uh, it's got gold gilded columns, and uh, the marble around the fireplace was rosa marble imported from Italy. There's also this artwork that's on the ceiling and above the entrance. The artist laid on his back in order to complete it. Local legends often estimate the value of the home at the time of construction to be an absurd amount, over $13 million. However, the home was constructed in 1899 for about 80000 Still a large sum at the time it was built, and generally more than other homes in the neighborhood at the time. This is called the uh, library. It's done in a kind of a Roman motif. One thing I notice about it is that each wood and the sliding doors are different. There is some thoughts that Patsy was quite short because of how low that the handles are. But according to the Patsy's passport, he was five foot seven, which is plenty tall. In the early 1900s, Spokane newspapers published articles on the largest household assessments. And the Patsy Clark household was the wealthiest at the time and the heaviest taxed. A.B. Campbell and James Clark were second and third on the list. The entryway chandelier may have been brought to the home from a brothel in Montana, but the truth of this story is in question. Certainly, Mary Clark would question it, even if it were true. This is called the uh, Chinese room, but uh, it was more commonly used for gambling. Patsy loved to play cards. The story is that he used to bring his kids down here and teach them how to play cards in order to understand how important money is. The Clark family entertained many guests at the mansion including the President of the United States. Teddy Roosevelt visited the mansion in 1903 and rode in the Clark family carriage. Decades later, in 1989, George H.W. Bush ate at the Patsy Clark restaurant. And this is also where um, President Bush had dinner with uh, Tom Foley and his wife and the head of the Environmental Protection Agency. Learn more about the Patsy Clark Mansion in John Richard's new book, The Life and Times of Patsy Clark, available online at www.nostalgiamagazine.net.